We'll go to our lecture. Receiving a community recommendation from Carlsholm, Alberta. And here we are in the portal of the Rural Northern Immigration Pilot Program for the community of Carlsholm. When we find this information, basically, it gives you two choices. First, to check the IRCC Liberia criteria, that we already know. And second, the choice of going straight to the Classroom Rural Portal. But first, we have some notes here for foreign skilled workers. Basically, employers in Classroom will not accept applications directly. So, everything has to go through the website of the Classroom Northern Immigration Program Portal. So any efforts to apply to an employer directly won't help you in the process of denomination. The only thing you can do is if there's an employer interested in giving you a job offer, they need to register with the community in the website. And for that, you will address them and take them to the information for businesses so they can register and then from there, then they can accept or extend the job offer to you. But you're not supposed to contact the employer directly. You need to apply through the portal for the community of Classform. Of course, during the pandemic right now, they're not taking any applications yet, but the goal is that they will take every year as far as the, the pilot program is going. We have some information here who can participate. So here you have the information. How can I participate? And you need to apply for a full-time job in Classroom and you must meet the federal eligibility criteria first. If you meet that criteria, then you can create your personal profile in the Classroom employment portal. And the process will be the following. Federal criteria check, create profile, accept a job offer through the portal. You will receive a community recommendation going to apply for permanent residence with IRCC. You will apply for a work permit at Classroom Employers. And then you're going to start your life in the community. And of course, they give you a link to the general map that we've seen before with the whole process. Now, why choose Classroom? But basically, they, see, they give you a link here that you can check. And when you check the link, you will be able to check the visitor information for foreign workers and foreigners interested in establishing in the city. The other part, of course, is the employer portal. Part of the criteria is to create your candidate profile here. And here you can see the information about that. There's a maximum of three active job application at the time. Remember, you only can apply for three jobs at a time. You cannot have more than three job applications. And here, after you create your profile, you have the following opportunity. There's opportunity right now for company truck drivers, food counter attendant in different companies. And again, if you want to check more information, you need to click the link provided. For example, you have a food counter attendant in Tim Hortons. Then you're going to have information about the job, the name of the company, the description of the company, the location in the community and information about hours and the type of occupation, NOCD, entry level position, it's a full-time position, the professional area, the salary will be $15 per hour, this is the job description. Remember, you want to tailor your resume to match this job description and the wage, uh, the, just the overall information, okay? So that's what you do with the position. And in order to create a candidate profile and when they are accepting applications you will be able to create you create your profile by clicking here all right at the end you need to follow the step-by-step -step guide of the process with this community specifically and if you want information about visitors you can check the information for visitors here in this page with information about the local culture and history the town map what activities, the lifestyle. Remember, you need this information for a potential interview and also to prove to employers and the com and committee that are gonna give you the nomination that you really know important information about the community. 
you need to prove that you want to live in the community and learning as much as you can about the community if you think that the community can offer you a good place based on your work experience and for your family needs so it's important for you to learn this information i hope you enjoyed this lecture and we'll see you in the next one thank you very much